Hi, my name is Pascal, and um, I first found out about bridging when me and my family were living in a hotel. Our landlord decided at the last minute to let us know that he was selling the home that we were living in. We were there for 10 years. There's a sense of comfort, there's a sense of security when you live in a home for a certain period of time. When you have traumas or you have stressors, it really does throw your life out of whack. For us, we've had a really bumpy two years. Brian was sick. He was in a coma for a, you know, a certain amount of months. He almost died. We got him back to being okay. He got to work. COVID happened. You know, you look at all these things that happen, all the uncertainties, and it really, it really kind of puts a level of stress on you that's unreal. It was all of us sleeping in a typical hotel room. So if you think about what a hotel room looks like, not a, uh, a deluxe room, a suite, a standard room. We were a family of six living in a standard room. So we had um, children on air beds and we were pretty much on top of each other. We were homeless for 10 months and um, we had just gotten this new home and we were really stressed out about how we were going to furnish the home. And, you know, really it was more about making sure the children had beds. My children are all disabled. And one of the agencies that helped my children gave us the referral for bridging. I didn't really know what to expect. A little bit anxious going in. Um, and when I got there, it was a really amazing experience. They came out, they introduced themselves to me, and they took me to a certain area in, the, in the, our starting point in the warehouse. And they were like, choose. And that was just kind of like weird. <laughs> you know, I thought I was going to be given things, you know. Um, I thought it was going to be like, okay, well, this is what we set aside for you and your family. I didn't know that I was going to be going around the actual warehouse and picking out what I liked and what fit our style. And they have this way of treating you as if you're an individual. You're not a charity case. You're not somebody who should be ashamed to be there. And it really, it really took the stress off. Being homeless and not knowing what tomorrow's gonna bring is really hard. We have just moved into our new home and we've been here for about a month and a half. We cook together on certain days. Me and my daughter, we sit down on the table and we do puzzles together. There's a, just a sense of comfort. There's so much joy in this home. And I think there's so much more joy in this home because it was furnished, you know, and we didn't have to worry about anything. We've gone through a lot of adversity. You know, we're still together. We're still driving each other crazy. <laughs> and I look at all the things that we've gone through, where we've come from, what we've had to deal with. And to me, I'm appreciative of a lot of things. I feel like a lot of things are blessings. For me, bridging is a huge blessing.